Welcome to my net routine self-care vlog. This is the first video in this format on my channel, so please give it some love. Today, I'll be showing you how I take care of myself in the evening and why I think taking your nighttime routine seriously can change your life. <sighs> hey guys, it's 8 p.m. right now and as you can probably tell, I'm feeling quite tired already. Usually I start my nighttime routine at around 8 p.m. just because it gives me enough time to unwind, to do all the things I want to do and go to bed calm and relaxed. First of all, I wanted to show you my new hair clip. I don't know if you can see it, but I think it looks pretty cute. I actually got it to go to the beach next month, but I liked it so much that I decided to wear it today for this video. It honestly holds my hair pretty well and I really like it. So let me know in the comments if you like this hair clip. Also, I know you're probably wondering what it is that I'm wearing right here. And yeah guys, it's an apron. <laughs> my kitchen looks like a mess right now and it is actually part of my nighttime routine to clean up my kitchen or as I like to say, to close my kitchen. Because the thing that I hate the most in the morning is waking up and seeing my kitchen dirty, the dirty dishes in the sink. Oh no, like I hate it so much. And so that's exactly why I have to include cleaning up my kitchen in my nighttime routine. What I do when I create my nighttime routine and what I want you to think about when you're gonna be creating yours is first of all thinking about when you need to wake up. For me this time is around 7 a.m. so once I know when I need to wake up 7 a.m. let's say, I go back nine hours. Yes, I need nine hours of sleep to feel my best and to function well. If for you this number is different, let's say seven or eight, you go back seven hours or eight hours or nine hours. For me, it's gonna be nine. I have to be asleep by 10 p.m. And this is so important. Like not, you know, go into my bed and be like, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now. It's 10 p.m. No, like I actually have to be past out like asleep by 10 p.m. and for me to accomplish that task successfully I actually have to be in a dark room trying to fall asleep at around 9 30 9 40 I would say and so now with this number in mind 9 30 p.m. I can actually start planning my nighttime routine for a feel-good nighttime routine I need an hour and a half to clean up my kitchen to take a shower to do my skincare to do some journaling to read my book so that's exactly why I start my whole routine at 8 p.m. One of the most crucial aspects of feeling like it's the night time for me is changing the lighting situation in my apartment because right now the lights are kind of bright and for me to feel like I'm winding down, I'm getting ready to go to bed, I need to create a different vibe. Now that it's a lot darker in my apartment, I feel like my body is relaxing already. I had to change some settings on my camera just because it is kinda dark in my apartment right now. So maybe the video quality is a little bit worse now, but you know, I'm trying to wind down. It's my nighttime routine and I really want it to be as accurate as possible. So the next thing that I usually do is I like to turn on some relaxing music or even better, some relaxing sounds. I really like the sound of soft rain and the app that I personally use for like all the relaxation sounds, all the nighttime meditations, the nighttime stories is Aura. I talked about this app a little bit in the past. I personally really like it. They're not sponsoring this video, but I do have an affiliate link for you guys. With my link, you can get a 25% discount on your subscription with Aura, along with a seven day free trial. The link will be down in the description.
around 8 15 ish i usually start getting ready to go take a shower just because i prefer to take a shower in the evening i know that there is kind of like a debate <laughs> between a lot of different people about whether you should shower in the morning or in the evening for me the logic is pretty simple i live in a pretty warm climate and obviously throughout the day i sweat a lot so obviously i like to get into my bed feeling like i'm clean so that's why i always take a shower before going to bed i don't use a lot of products when i take a shower just because i only have a shower i don't actually have a bath and to be honest i've been missing having a bath so much oh my god like i really have this dream of getting a hotel room with a bathtub and just like spending all my time there in a bathtub my favorite body care products when it comes to taking a shower are these so this one is a sugar scrub the reason why i like this one in particular is because my skin is very sensitive so if i use a scrub that is a little bit too harsh on my skin my skin is just gonna get completely irritated this one smells like watermelon it's so good like every single time i use it my whole apartment starts smelling like watermelon i love it the body wash that i absolutely love using is this one by native it's clean it's vegan it's cruelty free and it smells amazing this like eucalyptus and mint smell oh i love it like honestly 10 out of 10. I highly recommend their products in general. I also have their deodorant and I really like it. Again, I decided to purchase it just because of the clean ingredients because my skin is extremely sensitive. It gets irritated all the time if I use the wrong body wash, if I use the wrong deodorant, but these ones have been working amazing for me. Skincare time. I always use this cat ear thing just because it helps me take off my makeup and not make my hair all wet put it on like so and voila perfect i love my skincare look i love this robe i love my cat ears so now i'm gonna show you guys what i usually do to take off my makeup and to take care of my skin i have mentioned in one of my previous videos that i started using korean skincare and these two products you guys have probably seen them on tiktok if you follow this korean skincare brand but i really really like them my skin currently is acne prone i have hormonal acne sometimes so these things really help me treat my acne i would say like when i if i have a pimple like somehow these products help me shrink down this pimple faster so the first product that i use is this cleansing oil and it is an amazing product to use when you're taking off your makeup right now as you can see i have a little bit of makeup on i have some eyebrow gel i have these sparkly things i have mascara i have um, a little bit of stuff on my cheeks and my cheekbones but yeah as you can see these are all of my acne spots i don't have any active breakouts right now <laughs> but still i'm gonna show you a little bit later the serum that i really like to use to treat the dark spots with so the first step is the cleansing oil and the second step is the cleansing foam also by the same brand anua i really hope i'm pronouncing it correctly but i really like these two products the way they work together is amazing This is what my skin looks like without any makeup, just cleaned and washed. All of these marks are just marks. You can see a lot more redness, a lot of the things are more prominent, which is totally okay. This is what my face looks like. I also just used eye drops because a few months ago I got LASIK, the eye surgery, because my eyesight was pretty bad. And now I have to use lubricating eye drops pretty often. So that's why maybe I look like I'm crying right now. The next step of my skincare routine is using this serum. I like it a lot. It's from the brand Beauty of Jong Song. 
Jin Soon. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand correctly, but I'm gonna pop it up on the screen for you guys to see. Basically, this is what the serum looks like. This is a glow serum. So it's supposed to give my face this glow, this natural glow, but not make my face look oily because actually they have a very similar serum and I have it too. <laughs> it's called Super or Deep, Deep Glow Serum. And honestly, this one is nice too, but it kind of makes my face look a little bit oily. Even though all of the serums they have, in general, they feel very light on my face. But right now, this is my favorite. And to finish up my routine, I use this moisturizer from the brand Aven. I guess this is how you pronounce it. It's a French brand and I really like it. I really like it because it feels very light on my skin. Again, I don't like anything too heavy because my skin is not oily and it's not super duper dry. So I don't really need to use like heavy products on my skin, but this one, it feels very lightweight and that's why I really like it. So just apply a little bit like this on my face to finish off my skincare routine. Of course, don't forget the neck part. I think my favorite part of my nighttime routine is probably the way I take care of my teeth. So my oral hygiene, just because I think it's extremely important to take care of our teeth, make sure you brush them properly and make sure you floss because there are so many people who don't floss. And I'm not gonna lie, I used to be a person who did not floss until one day I decided to watch a bunch of YouTube videos about why you actually should be flossing. And now I cannot imagine my life without flossing. But the first thing I do is I take my aligners because I actually have aligners. I'm not done with my treatment yet, but I think you can already tell a very big difference. But to clean my aligners, I just use this special cleansing tablet thing from this brand called Bright. Yeah, it's very specific to aligners. If you guys don't have aligners, you should probably skip this part. So I open it up, I put the tablet here and I fill it up with water. And so while I'm doing all of my routine, my aligners are getting clean. So the first part of my routine is flossing. And yes, you actually should be flossing before you brush your teeth. Something that I learned only a few months ago because I thought you first had to brush your teeth and then floss, but then like, it's kind of logical. When you floss, like all the gunk kind of falls on your teeth or on your tongue. So you kind of do want to make sure flossing is the first step of your routine. And the final part of my skincare is using this lip sleeping mask by the brand Laneige, I guess. It's actually also a Korean brand. I didn't know about it originally, but I was looking for a lip mask to take on a plane with me because usually when I'm flying, my skin, my lips, everything gets so freaking dry. And this one is amazing. Like it really, does the job well and it smells pretty nice. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of products that have a smell. I really prefer things that don't smell like anything, but you know, this one is good anyway. Now it's time to wind down. I prefer to take these 30 minutes from 9, 10 p.m. until 9.40 p.m. to do something that relaxes me, something that is gonna make me super sleepy, and this way I naturally fall asleep way faster. It really depends on the day, but today I desperately need to clean my kitchen because for dinner, I was making sushi, vegan sushi. Actually, it was not sushi. Let me find the recipe for you. It was the Korean Korean rice rolls, Wait, but basically something like this. The app I use to make vegan recipes is called Pickup Limes. I highly, highly recommend it. My kitchen looks like a mess, but at least the sushi turned out pretty good. Check this out. Well, not the sushi, the Korean rice rolls, but you get what I mean. They were actually very tasty too. So I have to put all of this into the fridge, clean up all of this, wash the dishes. So I'm going to do it all by listening to a meditation or a sleep story on the Aura app. Welcome. Right when I'm 
about to go to bed, I usually journal. I journal about my day, what happened, or maybe I use a specific journaling prompt. Sometimes I honestly don't have a lot of ideas like what I want to write about, so I might turn on a YouTube video where a person is sharing some interesting journaling prompts, or sometimes I use AI like ChatGPT or Perplexity to help me with some prompt ideas. Because honestly, especially if you try to journal every single day, one day you're gonna feel pretty tired of writing about the same thing over and over again like what you did oh this is what i did this is how i felt sometimes you just want to dig a little bit deeper or journal about something different most nights though to be honest what i do is i read because reading really helps me unwind relax calm down get ready to go to bed and the book i'm currently reading is called wonder by rj palacio i really like this book it has short chapters the story is very interesting and i feel like it's a perfect read before going to bed because it is not something too hard to understand understand like it is a fiction book it is not non-fiction about a very difficult topic so it really helps me relax and honestly on most nights I just fall asleep while reading so this is my nighttime routine of course I want you to remember that I'm not a robot and sometimes my nighttime routine changes this is the ideal version I would say or honestly the version that I have most days sometimes when I go out obviously I come home super late so I don't have the energy let's say to clean the kitchen or journal or read a book I take a shower and immediately go to sleep I think what really helps me stick with this nighttime routine every single day is setting an alarm on my phone for 8 p.m. every single day when it's 8 p.m. my alarm goes off and it means that I have to start preparing to go to bed for me it's very important to stay intentional and when i'm intentional about my nighttime routine it really helps me have a good morning routine i hope you have also noticed that i say good night to my screens and i don't use them in bed i don't use my phone in bed i don't use my computer in bed it's honestly a habit that is still a work in progress for me but on most nights i manage to do it successfully if you guys are still watching this video at this point make sure to leave a comment with your favorite yellow emoji i'm gonna be very happy to find your comments and see who watches my videos up until the very end if you like this video let me know in the comments what you think about this new format if you want me to make more videos like this like a vlog basically if you want to see how slow living changed my life click on this video right here and check it out. You'll find a lot of useful information on how to live your life more intentionally.